Hey YouTubers, this is Dave Funk coming at you. It's been a long time. I bet it's been at least uh, maybe a good six or seven months since I've made a video. Things are ramping up. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm looking at, you know, this earthquake situation right in the middle too of this. All these people, millions and millions want to know, you know, what the government is hiding in Area 51, uh, there's been, it's not real recent, but it's like there's this um, newfound interest in what was Hitler really doing. Uh, all this stuff, people want to know what the heck's going on. And there's been this hunger that's been created. However, if people do not have the protection of God, the protection of His Holy Spirit, the the uh, the protection of his gift of discernment. Uh, the Bible clearly says that in the end times that there would be a lie, that there would be deception uh, of such a great intensity that even the elect, and they're talking about, you know, smart Bible be, you know, believing people, even the elect would be deceived. And it is happening. There are uh, Christians. And even like these head ministers, man, they're starting to dive into all these bogus belief systems that they never would have, you know, uh, entertained at all, okay? People, we need discernment. We need God's discernment for what's about to transpire. This is so intense. And, uh, you know, I almost kind of gave up, and I apologize, I almost kind of gave up on, on trying to reach people. It's just like nobody wants to listen. Nobody wants to believe that the stuff that is going on is actually going on. No, they, they want to be comfortable just to the extent that, you know, it's like, man, your, your family's going to be terminated. Your, you know, your relatives, your friends, everybody that you know is going to be so susceptible to uh, this great deception coming around. And... My gosh, we just we need that that knowledge and of what uh, uh, the Bible says. It says to be as wise as the serpent. In other words, we got to know his devices here. So the Lord put upon my heart a prayer that I've been using for a long, long time, and I'm just going to kind of say it. And, and uh, keeping in mind, the enemy cannot read your mind. Your warfare must be out loud. It must be verbal. And I'm just going to start, you know, uh, Father, in the name of Yeshua, I tell Satan to shut up. We need to stop being nice to him. Shut up in the name of Yeshua. In the name of Jesus, shut up. And the Bible also says that when a thief is caught, he must return sevenfold of that which he stole. And you know what? Uh, it says he must. It's like we don't... I hear Christians for years using the term ask. We ask sevenfold. No, no, no. I demand sevenfold of that which the enemy attempted to steal. I want to zap him on his plans. And I want to, I want, and I demand sevenfold of that which he's stolen. Now don't be demanding it for selfish reasons. Be demanding the sevenfold so that it lines up with what God wants. You'll be blessed. You, you truly will. And I'm not going to say that, you know what, I, I, I have lived uh, a recent life of just a tremendous amount of, uh, it's been warfare, it's been, you know, all around me, there's just a lot of, of things going on, and, and it's frustrated me, and it has, and, and the enemy has robbed from me, but my treasure isn't here, but I know that God expects us also to, have, to warfare here, he expects us to warfare like uh, uh, like Jesus uh, had warfare. They expect that. So in the name of Yeshua, we demand sevenfold. And Lord, we pray for those who wrongfully abuse us. We demand sevenfold over their lives what the enemy has stolen. In the name of Yeshua. Guys, I hope that you'll, you'll pray that. And you know what? It's, it's kind of like uh, when the 
uh, after many days, you know, an investment, you know, happens. It doesn't happen like overnight sometimes. We know that uh, the Bible talks about um, <clears throat> the, the Prince of Persia being wrestled by, you know, angels, and it took a while. Guys, they wear. The fallen angels, the, the demonic entities, they wear out too. They get tired. And if we pray and, and continue to beat them up in the spirit realm, if we continue to demand sevenfold, I'm not saying that they give up, but they begin to wear down too. God bless you and have a great day.